Now, this video is being made in anticipation of taking this amplifier to the Finley Ham Fest in two days. This is Friday, September 6th, and uh, the Ham Fest is September 8th. So I'm going to be uh, recording a series of videos uh, showing the power output and the settings and the different bands. Uh, this first band is the 10 meter band. We're tuned to a frequency of 28.5. Our presets uh, on the amplifier, you can see the plate and the load, uh, probably about, uh, I'm guessing around 16 there. And then on the load, we're about 7.8, maybe 7.9. The band selector is actually on 10. I don't know why it looks like there's like no markings there. I think that had to do with uh, the idea of that band was disabled. So the uh, CB people uh, didn't use it. But if you were a ham, it was available to you. And all you had to do was make a cut a wire or something like that. But at any rate, that does give it to you. So we've seen the settings. Now let's take a look at the power output. We're driving this with about 100 watts. I think it's like 99 or something. So here comes our power output. Here you can go. We can see we've got a little over 900 watts. Here's our grid current is right at uh, 200. And uh, our plate current is about uh, 580. Okay, here we are. We're setting up for 15 meters. And uh, the frequency is 21.3. And uh, you can see we're in the CW mode. Our settings... Down here, you can see where they are. Uh, it's kind of hard to interpolate, but I would say that the plate's about 17, and the load is just above 7, and our band switch, of course, is on 15. So, let's go ahead and check our power output. You can see we got about 850 watts, and... Uh, the grid is about 220, 230, and the plate's about 500. Okay, we're set up for uh, 40 meters operation now. Our band switch is on 40. Our plate is just a little bit above the 40 meter mark there. You can see the position of it. And down here, we're about 2.6, 2.7, something like that on our load control. Our frequency is 7.125 CW. Let's go ahead and get our power output here. And you can see we're running pretty close to 900, 880, something like that. And our grid current is 170 or so. And our plate current's about 500. Okay, we're now set up for the 80 meter band, and we can see our band switches on 80. Interesting, the plate says 160. That's just the way it goes. And the load is down here at about a little over 2.8 or so. So we're at uh, 3.8 is our frequency, CW mode. Let's get our power output now. Okay, we're getting about 700 and so a few watts, seven, well, just call it 700. Our grid current, uh, about 250, 260, and our plate current is about 400. Okay, here we are in the 160 meter band. Our band selector switch is set at 160. Our settings, uh, I don't know what to call that. Straight up, almost pointing at the A, almost a little bit to the left. Uh, and then down here, our load control is up to about 5.8, 5.9, just under 6. Our radio is set for 1.9 CW. Let's go ahead and see what our power output is. 
about 820 or so watts. Well, there we saw 840. Our grid current is about one, looks like about 170, 180, and our plate current's about 550. Okay, this is for the 20 meter band. And our settings is we have the band switch on 20 meters. We have our load setting about 4.8. And the plate, uh, that's kind of hard to call it, but I'm going to say 28 or something like that, 27, 28. Uh, frequency is 14.2 CW mode. And uh, we'll go ahead and get our power output now. Okay, we've got about 860 watts. Our grid current is 200. And our plate current is just a little over 500, maybe 520. 